Be Wealthy and Smart, episode 872. into a world of wealth and financial freedom without budgets, boredom, or bosses on Be Wealthy and Smart. And now, here's your host, Linda P. Jones. Welcome to Be Wealthy and Smart. I'm Linda P. Jones, America's Wealth Mentor, empowering women and men worldwide to financial freedom. On today's show, we are celebrating the seventh anniversary of Be Wealthy and Smart. I can't believe it's been seven years. We started April 27th of 2014. We have 872 episodes and 6.3 million downloads. Thank you so much to everyone, whether you've been listening from the very beginning or whether this is your very first time. I so appreciate you coming to the Be Wealthy and Smart podcast. And this is kind of mind blowing to me to think that I've been doing this for seven years and for the last several years, three times a week. You know what's really interesting about podcasting is that a lot of people do want to have a podcast and if it's something that you want to do, I really encourage you to do it. But here's the thing, so many people give up. They give up really easily. Did you know that almost a quarter of all podcasts have only one episode and 64% have less than 10 episodes? I'm not trying to toot my own horn. I'm just saying, if you're going to start something, stay with it. Go for the long term, whether you're investing or whether you're starting a business or a podcast. You've got to have a long term focus. On today's episode, I'm going to share with you some really important concepts about compounding your money and creating financial freedom. And that's because compounding is the backbone of it. If you've read my Wealth Heiress book, you know money compounding in time is the wealth building formula. How much money you're starting with, what rate you can compound at, and how many years you have to compound are the three factors that are going to determine whether you have financial freedom and when you have financial freedom. The more you can do of any three of those things, the sooner you're going to have financial freedom. And I also am going to share with you a special big announcement that I can't wait to tell you about, but you're going to have to wait till a little bit later to hear what that is. So let's talk about compounding your money because this is something that is so overlooked and people think, oh, I understand compounding. I know all about it. Your money grows and it grows and becomes more money. I get it. It's a simple concept. But the more difficult concept is how to do it well and how to do it consistently. And here's the main problem. Most of the time when we're looking at investments, we're looking in the rear view mirror. We're looking back at the track record for the last 20 years and we say, oh, well, the last 20 years this has performed well, so I guess it's a great investment. I'll invest today. Well, we know that investments move in cycles. And they're going from a place of being out of favor to a place of being where everybody's in and it's kind of a bubble. That natural progression happens in every investment. Yet we still tend to look in the rear view mirror and look at what has performed well to determine where we want to invest rather than looking forward and saying, Where are the next great opportunities coming? Where is the growth happening in the future? That's actually how wealthy investors think about where they're going to invest. And maybe this example will make it a little more clear. Let's say you were going to have a child. If you were going to have a child and that child was born today, would you look back 20 years ago and say, this is how my child's life is going to go, just like the last 20 years happened? I don't think so you know that what happened in the last 20 years has nothing to do with what's going to happen in the next 20 years in terms of trends and cycles and what happened then is not what's happening now. 
For example, 20 years ago, the internet was just getting started. Now the internet is maturing and it's everywhere and in everything we use. So the key is really to look forward and look at the trends that are happening today and where are those trends going to go? We've talked about trends like holistic health and cannabis, and that is a huge market. In fact, the MJ ETF is up dramatically year to date. It's up 48.64% year to date, and it's up 76.87% in the last year. So if you've been following the podcast, you know that that has been a trend that we've talked about for a long time. It's something we've been looking forward to being a strong trend. And we're seeing that we're right in the middle of that. Another thing that we've liked on the podcast over the years is physical silver and gold and silver mining stocks. And silver over the last year, the metal, the spot price of silver is up over 70%. And GDX and GDXJ that we like a lot, up over 18.8% on the junior miners and 7.2% on the big mining companies. So these are trends that are still in play. These are trends that we still like and we're still invested in. And these are trends that we see going forward are still incredibly undervalued, especially the precious metals. When you have phenomenal high growth rates, those rates are likely to continue for some period of time. In other words, it's unlikely that something has a big growth spurt and then just stops. If it's having a big growth spurt, it typically continues to have a big growth spurt. So those kinds of trends tend to continue. If you read my Wealth Heiress book, I talked about young businesses having incredibly high growth rates in the hundreds of percent and even thousands of percent per year. And this can happen because they're growing at exponential rates. And typically when companies do that, it's in their very early stages. And that's what we're seeing in cryptocurrency companies. And people aren't understanding what is happening. And that's why a lot of people think that there's some sort of bubble happening. But a bubble is defined as everybody being invested in that thing. The bubbles that we've had in real estate or in Bitcoin or in the internet stocks were when everybody was invested in those things. Everybody was telling everybody else to invest in those things, whether it was the Uber driver or the FedEx person, they were all telling everyone to invest in those things. They were talking about them at cocktail parties. It was everybody was already in. That's not what we're seeing with cryptocurrency. In fact, it's quite the opposite. We're seeing people be repelled by cryptocurrencies. And I was one of those people who was first repelled by cryptocurrency until I really looked at what was going on and saw that we're in a transition to Web 3.0. We're in a transition to blockchain-based companies. These companies are the next stage of the internet, the next stage of the web. What is blockchain? Blockchain is where everything is recorded and verifiable in a digital record. It's a system of recording information in a way that makes it difficult or impossible to change, hack, or cheat the system. It's essentially a digital ledger of transactions that are duplicated and distributed across the entire network of computer systems on the blockchain. It's also going to help transactions settle immediately. So instead of having to wait days for stocks to settle, or days for checks to clear, or days for your payroll, these things are going to settle in real time and immediately. Sending money is going to be as easy as sending an email. You're not going to need a bank. You're going to be able to send it anywhere at the click of a mouse. Right now when we pay bills, we have to go through a bank and the bank pays the bill. Not so in the future. We're going to go directly to whomever we want to pay with the money. These companies that are in their younger stages are growing at phenomenal rates. Now, although Bitcoin was the first blockchain company, it is not a company that I'm comfortable investing in because by definition, anyone 
who creates a company and we don't know who created it, I will never invest money in. I will never invest money when there is a mysterious creator of the company. I don't care who they are. If they are mysterious, that's a red flag for me and I will never invest my money in a company like that or in an investment like that. So that for me disqualified Bitcoin. But that doesn't mean that the blockchain isn't a viable technology. It certainly is. And since Bitcoin, there are better technologies that have come out that are transparent, that do have experienced managements that we know who is behind those companies. We know who the management is. We know what their technologies are. They are transparent. And those companies are the ones I'm interested in investing in because the rates of compounding right now are in the exponential stage. And that's what people don't realize. This isn't a bubble. This is a young, new technology happening and we are in a stage just above the venture capital level. Now, normally only the wealthiest of people get to invest in venture capital. That's considered too risky and you have to be an accredited investor in order to get involved in those kinds of deals. That means the wealthy have access to the higher compounding rates that the everyday investor doesn't normally have, but not so with cryptocurrencies. Cryptocurrencies and blockchain companies are at their early stages and you're able to invest in them through an app on your phone. These digital exchanges that exist on your phone are like Coinbase that just went public. Now, while I didn't invest in Coinbase and I still won't invest in Coinbase, I still think it's overvalued. I do have an account with Coinbase and I do buy some cryptocurrencies through Coinbase. So it is a viable company. It did pass all of the requirements of the NASDAQ to go public. And that means it had to be audited, It had to have financial reports. It had to have profitability, et cetera. So these things show that Coinbase is legitimate. It is a legitimate company. So the kinds of companies that trade on Coinbase are fast growing blockchain oriented technology companies. Some of them are cryptocurrencies. Some of them are not. Some of them do other things. But my point is, that until I opened my mind and really started researching what was happening, I didn't understand what was going on. But now having taken a look at what is going on with this Web 3.0, I can say that the compounding rates are astounding. We are in an early stage of these investments. This is definitely not a bubble. And I have never seen such exciting investment opportunities as I see in the cryptocurrency space. People have said to me, but what if the government outlaws them or what if there's some sort of regulation change? And that's a really good question. And that's why I've looked at that and am following companies that are following regulations that have already been set in place. These regulations are going to go into effect in November of this year. These regulations called ISO 20022 are being followed by the companies that I'm investing in. So these companies are already following the letter of the law. In addition, we have lots of central banks that are looking at issuing a digital currency version of their physical currency. So this is not competition that's going to put physical currency out of business. What it is, is it's going to run alongside physical currencies and be another option that you have to have a digital form of a dollar or a physical paper dollar, a physical euro or a digital euro. These things are the next generation of currency as well. And that again is the internet of value. The internet of value means that things are going to be digitized and tokenized. And you've heard me talk about NFTs or non-fungible tokens. Non-fungible tokens are simply unique works of art or unique records that are placed in digital form and on the blockchain. So that means if I create a work of art and I digitize it, it can be sold as an original in an NFT market. If I create a document that is a deed for some property that I have, that can also be an NFT 
on the blockchain. It's an original, means it can't be copied. There is a record of it. So the NFT market is going to be enormous as a form of business and music and art, also for hobbies. And even companies like Louis Vuitton, Gucci, etc., high-end designers are going to tie their products into NFTs so that you can look up a number on your purse, on your handbag that you buy, and verify that it's real and not a fake. So it's gonna do away with all the fakes and the copies and the imitations that we've been living with in this world. That's not going to exist as we go into the digital blockchain world. So things will really improve. We won't have fake accounts on social media. We won't have fake checks being written. We won't have all the fake stuff happening. We will have a way to authenticate everything on the blockchain. So this is the next level of the internet and technology and where we're going. And all of the stocks on the stock exchange are going to be digitized and traded on digital markets and have instant settlement of transactions. That's coming. And Microsoft just last week announced that they were digitizing their shares. So we have a whole new world of investment opportunities. And I don't see that this is really going to be in the mainstream adoption for several more years. So in my opinion, the investment opportunities looking forward are astounding. But even if we did look in the rear view mirror, what would we find for the last five years? Had we invested in the last five years in an index called the Bitwise 100, it's an ETF only for accredited investors, however, of 100 cryptocurrency companies, do you know how much that's increased in the last five years? It was up not 60%, not 600%, it was up 6% thousand percent. That means it made 60 times your money in the last five years. But it wasn't available to everyday investors as one investment. You'd have to go in and buy each of those individually because they only allow that for accredited investors. So here's what I'm saying. The opportunity is astounding and that growth rate, while it sounds incredulous, and it is, those kinds of compounding rates are what younger companies do. Go look at the Inc. 500 fastest growing companies list. They're growing at those kind of growth rates and they're not even digital companies. These are regular businesses. But I talked about that in the Wealth Heiress book and how there are growth rates in the thousands of percents for younger companies. Now think about being able to do things more efficiently with less cost, more profitability, and being the next growth trend on the blockchain, well, you have a recipe for an amazing investment opportunity. That's why I think certain cryptocurrencies are super exciting right now. But also we wanna stay with those that are moving along with regulations, that's key. So how I happened to find out about that 6,000% return on the top 100 cryptocurrencies for the last five years, is, and this is related to what I mentioned at the very beginning, having a big announcement to make. Well, I was doing research for my next book, my second book, which is going to be about building wealth in the quantum age. And while I was doing research for that book, I was looking at what are some of the rates of return on these cryptocurrencies that are out there. And that's when I found the 6,000% number is a real number for the last five years. This is something that the stock exchanges want to create indexes for cryptocurrencies, but they really can't because once people know what the compounding rates are in cryptocurrency, there's a lot of money that's gonna move out of the stock market and into the crypto markets. And we're already seeing that at a high net worth level. We're seeing pension plans, institutions, high net worth people, family offices, affluent investors. The top 1% creme de la creme are already allocating 3 to 5% of their portfolio in cryptocurrencies. And that's really all you need to do. I'm not saying to put 100% into cryptocurrency, but 3 to 5% is going to make an enormous difference in your portfolio with these compounding rates. So you don't have to take a lot of risk. 
there is a lot of fluctuation of price. They are very volatile. But if you have a long-term perspective and you can hang on for two to five years, I think it's going to be worth having three to 5% in your portfolio. And if that's something you wanna do, come on over and join us in the Be Wealthy and Smart VIP experience, where I've got seven different cryptocurrencies that are following the laws and regulations that are fully transparent and above board that have viable business models and I think are the next dominant winners in this technology space, just like Amazon was when the internet was created. If that's something you're interested in doing, we have a special offer with a 50% savings right now. Just use the coupon code SAVE50, all capital letters, S-A-V-E-5-0. You invest once and you have lifetime access to be investing alongside of us for years to come. And if you're on Facebook, I'm active in our Facebook group with you on a daily basis. So I'm there posting information, posting articles, sharing charts, showing you what's going on, keeping you updated, holding your hand even during volatile times to keep you focused and invested for the long-term success of your investment opportunities. So if you've wanted to get involved in these kinds of investments, we do have those available, plus our regular asset allocation model made up of ETFs so that if you have a 401k or an IRA that you're invested in. You have the ETFs to invest there. If you have money that you wanna put into cryptocurrencies, you have seven different investment selections there as well. So let's talk about the book that I just mentioned. Two years ago this September, I came out with You're Already a Wealth Heiress, Now Think and Act Like One, Six Practical Steps to Make It a Reality Now. And the reason I did that is I wanted to put my wealth building ideas into a book because I didn't see anyone else starting with mindset, really understanding the power of compounding and then going into where and how to compound your money today. I'm proud to say that that book for the second year in a row has been named to the all time best wealth books list by Book Authority. And it's now time for me to write about wealth building in the quantum age, because I'm not seeing a lot of information about this for everyday investors, only for the very, very wealthy. And I want all of our listeners to benefit from high compounding rates. I want you to benefit from these next wealth building areas. I want you to know where are we going in the next five to 20 years that you can make a lot of money and get the financial freedom that you want. Already in the VIP experience, we have 20 people that have reached the six figure level in their cryptocurrencies. And that's because cryptocurrencies, as I've said, are compounding at such incredible rates of return. I believe it won't be long before many of those cryptocurrency portfolios are seven figures in worth. And these aren't things, of course, that I can promise. I cannot promise, I cannot make guarantees but I can give you my best research, my best information, my best ideas for where I believe wealth is going to be created. So don't wait for five years until the track record on cryptocurrencies is amazing and some Wall Street firm suddenly decides to add it to their list after it's done well for five years. And you look back and think, wow, what a great track record for five years. It must be a great investment. Well, guess what? That's probably about the time it's going to be peaking and probably about the wrong time to get in. Just like Wall Street firms sold a lot of technology stocks right at the peak of the bubble, when they finally get to offering this to everyday investors and not just their wealthiest investors, it's gonna be years down the road. And yes, the rear view mirror will look extremely strong and attractive, but you could have been in at that time rather than waiting five years and looking back and getting in at a much higher price at that point rather than getting in now when these things are selling at a dollar fifty nine cents thirty two cents fifty cents the prices are so low we are not going to see these companies selling for pennies in the future in my opinion someday we'll look back and say i can't believe these sold for such a small amount. 
it won't be long before these companies grow up into more mature companies and these prices will not exist in the future in my opinion. But right now, you can take a small amount of money and it can grow into a much larger amount of money because of the compounding rates that we're experiencing. So I just wanted to bring my best ideas to you in this anniversary episode. I wanted to talk with you about what the astounding things are that are going on in technology right now and investing that only a very small amount of people have even noticed or are even aware of and are investing in yet. So I wanna say thank you to you for listening to Be Wealthy and Smart. I so value you as a listener and I'm so grateful that you take the time to tune in and listen to what I have to say. So in closing, I wanna open up our review giveaway one more time and say I'm going to be giving away five one-on-one sessions with me. I'm also going to give away 10 books of You're Already a Wealth Heiress and 20 of my Wealthy Mindset Blueprint audio sets valued at $197 to people who leave a review on Apple Podcasts for Be Wealthy and Smart. I'll enter your name in the drawing one time. And if you've read the Wealth Heiress book and you leave a book review on Amazon, I'll enter your name into the drawing two times. And that drawing will occur on June 1st and I'll announce the winners at that time. And thank you to everyone who's ever written a podcast review or a book review. I am so grateful to you. I read them all and they mean so much to me. And I'm so, so, so grateful for you taking the time to do that. So if you haven't left a review and you do that, now's the time to possibly win some of these great prizes. That's all for today. Until next time, live the good life and be wealthy and smart. Thank you for listening to Be Wealthy and Smart with Linda P. Jones. Share the wealth and tell your family and friends about the show. Check out our website, blog, and social media for more riches at www.bewealthyandsmart.com.